What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. So, a little bit different than usual, I'm back on MX Simulator today. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've uh, done a sim video. Uh, I didn't see much point in uploading uh, a bunch of videos just whilst I'm still absolute poo poo at the game. Uh, I've been playing for the last couple of nights or so, maybe half hour to an hour each night. And I think I'm slowly slowly getting there. Uh, I mentioned in one of my MX Bikes videos uh, the other day, I spent maybe like, like a good four or so hours on this one track and still couldn't for the life of me uh, go around very well and I went into my settings and for some reason, but bear in mind I'm using the setup that I used to use uh, way way back in the day when I was actually winning races and such uh, for some reason uh, one of my settings was I think it was like two numbers off I think so the roll limit factor um, was three rather than the five I usually run I changed it back and now I feel like I can actually somewhat go in a straight line again so uh, I suppose the uh, the grind to get back to a decent speed starts now. Uh, I would like at some point maybe to uh, start doing some races again. Uh, I know a few of the MX Bikes guys are interested in doing AMS on Sim for Supercross. Um, I'm not sure where I'd stand on that because obviously given who I am I'm not sure if I'd be allowed to do it. I'm not sure if there's anything on the rules if you haven't ridden in so many years you can drop back down to AMS after being in Pro. Um, so I know in, in uh, MX Gym later, if anybody isn't aware uh, you actually have to kind of, kind of be given your class you don't just get to sign up for anything that you want um, at least under the uh, the RF races uh, the race factory races um, which is uh, it's predominantly for the NA side of things but uh, I mean it still applies I I'd have to see where I stand on that if, if not maybe I need to uh, <laughs> I need to buy a new account make up some sort of alias when I'm sure people will work out who I am in no time once I start uploading videos on it but um, I might do some digging I'll see where I stand on that but uh, I'm enjoying the game again uh, I, I didn't think I would uh, but I'm guessing where it's been so long since I've uh, put some time into it properly and uh, now that I've got my settings a bit better you can kind of, kind of go around the track somewhat decently now um, I'm on the 450 uh, I really 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 struggle uh, on the 250 at the moment I don't know what it is um, but for some reason hang on let's keep her going keep her going there we go um, I keep washing the front end out in all the turns I used to be really like that 250 used to be my thing uh, I used to actually really struggle on the 450s um, but for whatever reason I, I just barely I can't go around the track on the 250 anymore uh, I think 450s are they're kind of like the easy mode on this game just uh, just gently roll on the throw out of a corner and you'll get over any uh, any triple in Supercross um, and that's why I've been playing uh, predominantly at the moment is Supercross uh, I've just downloaded I think it's like the first seven rounds or so of the uh, the 2021 season just to uh, try and practice on this the, the newer style of the tracks because the, the tracks I had previous to this was like the stock 2013 like JLV tracks um, and then a couple of 2018 ones um, which I believe were the last few uh, last few that I played when I was, was into the game uh, so I thought the smart thing would be to download the newer ones because obviously track uh, track creators change, track styles change uh, and I'm glad I did because a lot of these uh, a lot of these jumps they're very very peak but they send you very very high um, so that's something I need to get used to uh, especially on the 450 you, can, you have to be so gentle on the throw on these 450s so you don't over jump anything um, a very good example is this finish jump here it's so easy to over jump this uh, and the triple on camera too let me just I'm going to hit this triple without breaking I'm going to turn around so I've actually hit the corner fine uh, I'm going to do it not breaking and you'll see just how far I uh, just how far I jump normally I get around the corner fine there we go okay. just hit it normally look at that I almost bloody quad into the corner Oh, that was close. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to do that properly if I properly sent it. Um, yeah, I think that's just a sim thing I'm trying to get used to again. I forgot that the, the game is quite floaty. Uh, the bikes are incredibly fast. Um, you can see at the top left, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, especially if you're watching this on a mobile. Um, I've got like, that speed toggle on. And I believe that's in miles per hour rather than kilometers an hour. So, um, yeah, the 450s do, do get going pretty quick. Obviously, I'm, I'm no... Uh, also, I'm, like, I'm no professional when it comes to the real life data to know how fast the 450s actually get going on supercross tracks but I would uh, I'd probably say that sim is a little bit overscaled I know a lot of the tracks tend to be overscaled just to accommodate the uh, the speed of the game uh, but overall something that I'm slowly slowly getting used to um, <laughs> I keep having the issue of if I switch between bikes and sim uh, I, my muscle memory kicks in and I press the wrong buttons uh, so in MX Bikes, my front brake is on my L2 button on PlayStation. However, on uh, on Sim, my L2 does absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, so it's just how I've learned the individual games. Obviously, it's my own bad for not making them uh, similar to each other. Um, but it is what it is. I'm still also trying to get used to the uh, the JLV legs off that we just saw there. Obviously, if, if that was uh, bikes, I would uh, 
I'd kind of get a little uh, bounce up again, but most of the time I'd be able to save it. Uh, so I'm just trying to get my head around those, you, you know those little bits, those little uh, things that you pick up about the game that kind of save you in certain situations. I've, I feel like I've forgotten those for the most part on Sim. So I'm just trying to get that back again. Um, I think landing on my front wheel, <coughs> if I'm over jumping something, used to, be, uh, used to be the move on this game for not crashing. So I do need to try and do that a bit more. And something that I'm also trying to get out of my head, which is uh, an MX Bikes habit that I have, is leaning forwards in the air the entire time. Um, wearing bikes you want to get the front end kind of up uh, and land on your back wheel and lean forwards because it stops that front wheel twitching if you're uh, if, you, if you don't play bikes very often there's a bit of a front end issue if you over jump slightly and uh, leaning, leaning forward does help that so it's, it's very very difficult I don't think I'm ever ever uh, gonna get back to what I was especially whilst playing both games at the same time I feel like that's, there's far too many hours involved and uh, there's too much uh, too much difference in the game's physics, they don't carry over to each other, so it'll be very, very hard to master both. Uh, so I feel like I'll probably just try and settle for being uh, intermediate at both, because uh, in, in turn, if, if I spend more time playing Sim now, then my uh, my MX bike speed will go down. Uh, so it just uh, <laughs> just comes down to what I, what I want to be good at at the end of the day, and I'd rather be okay at a lot of things rather than really, really good at one. Um, and all in all, that'll, uh, that'll make the content on the channel a bit better. Uh, especially when you get like uh, when Legends comes out yeah, in in a few months, whenever that release date is, then <laughs> I'll be spreading it across three games. So um, yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. It'll be difficult, but it'll be interesting. Oh, and then I've got the Reflex as well. So there you go. There's four games. So <laughs> there'll be four different games with different uh, physics, different mechanics to try and learn. Um, so it shall, it will be interesting. But um, I hope you can agree if you watch my last uh, sim video. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, survive. Oh, almost. You see, I overjumped that the same as the previous lap. I landed on the uh, on the front wheel there and sat down, and it uh, and just instantly give me a legs off like it would do if I was uh, landing on the back wheel like MX bikes. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you did watch my last video. You'll see that uh, I've just my general riding has improved a fair bit. Just getting around the track, I feel like I was crashing a whole lot more. Um, granted, I, I do actually think that these 2021 tracks are a little bit more open um, than the 2018 ones was that I was playing previously. Um, but again, I think that just comes down to uh, uh, track creator differences. Um, I know as the as different communities uh, kind of take over, I feel like Sim as if as is more in the younger side of community, communities now. Um, they they want tracks to be a bit more wide open so they can go faster rather than tight and technical. I mean, if you if you go back to like 2012 sim tracks, like national tracks, they were so uh, so rough and tight and technical, and you just you don't really get that anymore. Um, I think as well they need to make it a little bit bigger to accommodate for the road now. I've not actually done a proper road race on sim since I left it, um, like 2017, 2018 time. So. Uh, I will definitely need to give that a shot at some point. So that was one of them things that uh, at the time kind of turned me away from the game. Uh, I just I couldn't get my head around it. I wasn't enjoying how it was implemented into the game. Um, but to my knowledge, I believe they've made quite a few uh, changes to it and improvements. So uh, hopefully the road is uh, is better than it was. So that will be interesting. I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to keep an eye on some of the uh, some of the sim race websites uh, over the coming uh, days and weeks. See if there's any races that kind of uh, pique my interest. If there is, I'll, I'll sign up and give them a go. Um, I might even just record it and, uh, and talk over it and upload it for you guys to watch as well, just so you can see the, the slow progression there. Um, but overall, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying my time on it. That, that is the most important thing. <laughs> when I was uh, first trying to get into it, when I had the uh, that number that was off by two, uh, I was getting very frustrated because I just felt like the game was uh, completely foreign. Whereas now, every now and then, I'll get that like glimpse of uh, former glory that I used to have, and then uh, I'll hear the next whoop section or the next corner, and just completely uh, wad myself and uh, get brought back down, uh, get brought back down to earth. So, uh, yeah, that that'll do it for me. Uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this very quick quick video. I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at. Um, I know that there's probably some of you guys that are far far better than I am, um, especially on these newer tracks, and then there's, there might be some that consider this really really quick. So. Uh, uh, hopefully everyone is uh, just enjoying their game time and hopefully you've enjoyed this video as well. If you did, please drop a like. It's very, very appreciated. And obviously MX Bikes at the moment will still be the main focus of the channel, um, but I do like being able to uh, branch out every now and then and do some uh, do some different games. And uh, Sim is one of those that's it's always going to have some sort of a uh, soft spot in my heart just because all the hours I put into it. 
uh, probably it's it's got to be over 4,000 or so over all the years I've played it. So uh, it, it would be sad to see that all just uh, all just disappear. Uh, so I will be uh, I'll be dabbling in it every now and then, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Um, the support is very greatly appreciated, and I'm now trying to get to 10k by the new year, and we've literally just hit 9k. So that is really really amazing. I think it's a very very doable goal. I think the average subscribers a month for the moment is, I want to say it's like 1.5-ish thousand, I want to say. Um, but yeah, very, very doable if we uh, keep up with at the rate we are. So uh, thank you very much everyone for the support. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is that you're up to. And until you catch you guys in the next video, peace. Got bad shit all up in my mind right now. Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out. I don't give a shit about an opinion. Be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, bitch, it's time to fill the cup. Got no fucking love. I feel so stuck on my luck. Get fucked.